You warned me. <laughs> I'll let you in on this in a little while. <laughs> So I played at this place, uh, uh, it was called the Starving Artist Cafe. It's in City Island, New York. If you ever get a chance, I don't know if it's still open. So many places have, have closed here. Yeah. And I had a, I had a, um, I never played there before and uh, nobody knew me. Sort of like tonight. <laughs> so I wrote a, a quick introductory song and I, I didn't write one for you, I'm sorry. But have to use something. I'm a starving artist. I play for food. Sometimes I suck, sometimes I'm pretty good. I like to tell you my stories. And sometimes they even let me. I'd even pay them money if I had any. But a bowl of vittles, a cup of soup, is all I ask for to keep me in the loop. And if you got any ideas for a man of my calibration, I've been all over this world, I see the light of situations. But now in this small cafe, just across from the Blue Lagoon, I know there's a place for me tonight in this room. So give a little lesson and I'll try not to bore you. I might even have something to say, I'm a rolling troubadour. for food and I'm here tonight in your neighborhood so hello welcome to the show see I thought it was opening but no no Jim warned me just a few more tunes and I gotta go Why do honeybees sting with sweetness as such that they bring? Is it love of community or human immunity that keeps them protecting their thing? Oh, why do speeders have wings? They split just as soon as they sting. They don't want to fight you. They just want to bite you. It's not fair to huge human beings. Oh, why do donkeys kick back when you want them to carry your back? It's downright subversive to kick in reverse when you've been paid to do honest work. So why do animals hate us? I guess that they never forgave us for switching their stations to domestication from the days when the animals ate us. This was a song that I, I heard, uh, I was listening to the Prairie Home Companion, and um, Garrison Keard uh, recited this poem, and I, I thought it was brilliant. It's another short, quick ditty. If you can start the day some caffeine or pills And gladly ignore all your aches and pains Resist boring all your friends with all your ills When 
loved ones can't give you the time you don't complain and overlook when people take things out on you through no fault of yours something goes askew take criticism and blame without resentment face the world without lies and deceit Conquer tension without medical abatement While away the days without thoughts of defeat Go through life never being in a fog Go to bed without drugs or heavy grog And still sleep like a log Where you're probably Yes, you're probably a dog. <laughs> a dog. Ruff, ruff. So most of my life, I, I've been a bass player, and and, uh, and and you warned me. You. <laughs> You were, gonna, you were gonna make me wish I never played guitar. <laughs> anyway, I loved yourself, thank you. Uh, the song was written a few days after Sandy Hook. There goes the planet shift There goes a spirit's lift here comes the great unwind. Read the signs. There goes the book of life. There goes the birth of light. Here comes a cutting knife. Read the signs. There goes the golden sands. There goes a student's plan. A hundred thousand times read the sand. There 
goes the last light spring. There goes another death that lays out in the pine. Read the sign. Too late to turn away. Too late to kneel to pray. How often we resign from the sign. So I'm sitting in my kitchen, this is a few years back, and uh, my, my mom was there, and uh, my sister, and my cousin Fran, and uh, my aunt Fritzy, who we lovingly call Big Tits Fritz. No need to explain why. Anyway, uh, we ordered a pizza, and the pizza was delivered at the table, and we all took a slice, and uh, Fritzy got up, and, walked into the kitchen and came out with a scissor and picked up her slice and started cutting it up into tiny little pieces and putting it in her sock. <laughs> we thought this was hysterical and we were all laughing. And, uh, and I looked over and my cousin Fran had tears in her eyes. She was looking at Fritzy. This was the first sign of senility that we saw. <laughs> And Fritzy kind of looked up and said to Fran, you know, if you're not laughing, you're crying. And uh, the song was born. She hid the Easter eggs between her legs, thought there was nothing wrong with that at all. She threw the birthday cake out in the middle of the lake, thought there was nothing wrong with that at all. She cut the pizza into pieces and hid it in her sock, thought there was nothing wrong with that at all. She took off all her clothes out on the middle of the dock, a month of Sundays just to read the clock, thought there was nothing wrong with that at all. That's just the way it goes, that's just the way it goes. She told me when you want to be free, you take off your clothes, that's the way you go. She ate her soup with a fork and her eggs with a spoon, thought there was nothing wrong with that at all. She'd fart like a duck in hell at the moon, thought there was nothing wrong with her at all. But she loved to dance, she loved to sing, and like a mama bird, she took me under her wing, taught me all the things that honesty brings, thought there was nothing wrong with that at all. And that's just the way it goes, that's just the way it goes. She told me when you want to be free, take off your clothes, that's the way it goes. Well, she's 93, 93, with the eyes of a child as far as I can see. 93, 93, she's been so many things. And like a mother to me. And that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes. She told me when you want to be free, take off your clothes. That's the way it goes. She told me when you want to be free, take off your clothes, that's the way it goes. Thank you. As some of you can tell by my guitar playing, I am a bass player by trade. <laughs>
summers come, then they go. Autumn leaves, but I won't. I'll be there when all the seasons have gone away for all their reasons. And they'll come back again. The springs come after winter's frost when some feel that all we had was love. I will be there just a breath away. Here you'll find me anytime. bagels but he calls them kites she likes tacos but she calls them spits he likes pizza but he calls them diggles she likes irish stew but she calls them mix he likes chow fun but he calls them slams he hates what's not him and he rants and rants and rants he loves soap food but he calls them just so many things I just can't figure. We all bleed red from these hearts that pump. So what's the big problem here? Can you tell me, chum? Chances are you're one of these all those. Or was your great great granny one? Well, yes, I suppose. And all this good good food should tell you something. Without that culinary stuff, we'd be nothing, but we're just common as corn. I'll tell you one thing, we're just as common as corn, all of us. Common as corn, I'll tell you one thing, common as corn. Can we really hate ourselves that much to put the touch and the blame on those who? Don't look the same. But 
that's where they want us, that's where they'll keep us on the outside looking in to the ones that blame us. Hey, pass the soul Frito Lee. I got some rice and beans cooking here, I need some TLC. Pass the vinegar blood, got some stuffed cabbage cooking in a good, good mood. I got some hot pepper cooking, you need a little more pepper. Pass me a carrot, Garrett. I got some boogaloo stew just almost ready for the whole damn crew. Keep needing the dojo. We're gonna break some bread instead of breaking heads. Yeah, pass the water, daughter. We got some guests coming over for dinner from a different order and we all come as corn. I tell you one thing, we just as common as corn. I tell you one thing, common as corn. I tell you one thing, we just as common as corn. I tell you one thing, in this rage, we got to end this hate. So uh, we, we've talked about 2020, we've talked about 2021, we didn't talk about 2008, I don't know what the fuck happened in 2008, I can't remember. <laughs> so I'm sitting around trying to write a pandemic song. I'm sure everybody got one that writes. And why you don't write, you got one in the back of your head. Cause, We've all been uh, affected by it, hurt by it, survived it, some not. When this damn pandemic is over, when this damn pandemic is gone, Gonna dance on the barrel of the Gonna sing me a damn song. I'm gonna call on my friends, gonna tell. Them. Ring out the rights from the wrong. Gonna celebrate a family then. Then I'll go in and hang up the phone. Then we'll all drop the microphone. When this damn panic is over. When this damn panic is gone. My sympathy is gone for stupidity gone. I'm gonna call up my friends, gonna tell them 
big casualties for me during the pandemic was uh, the death of John Prine. I like to bring up Pam now. She's gonna help me sing this song. It's a John Prine song. <laughs> Remember him well. This is a song that John wrote for, uh, I think he, he might have co-written it, wrote it, written it. He might have did that with, uh, with Iris DeMent, who's a wonderful singer. Is that working? Hello. Say hello, Pam. Hey, Pam. Hello. Say hello, people. You're standing too far back. Oh, stay oh, yeah. closer. Yeah, yeah, closer. Yeah, yeah. You know me. One, two, three, you four. know me. Closer. Oh, you know me. Hey, don't you? Especially with gotcha. this song. Okay. <laughs> she don't like her eggs all runny. She thinks crossing her legs is funny. She looks down her nose at money. She gets it on like the Easter bunny. She's my baby, I'm her honey. Never gonna let her go. Well, he ain't got late in a month of Sundays. Caught him once, he was sniffing my undies. He ain't too sharp, but he gets things done. Smokes his weed like it's oxygen. He's my baby, I'm his honey. Never gonna let him go. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. We all despite our noses right off our faces. There won't be nothing but a big old hearts dancing in our eyes. She thinks all my jokes are corny. Convict movies make her horny. She likes ketchup on the scrambled eggs. Swears like a sailor when she shaves her legs. She takes a licking, keeps on ticking. Never gonna let her go. Well, he's got more balls than a big brass monkey. A white that widow and a love punk chunky. Sly as a fox, crazy as a loon. Baby comes and he's howling at the moon. He's my baby, I'm his honey. Never gonna let her go. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. We got to spite, our noses right off our faces. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes. In spite of ourselves. through this. Uh, growing up, we are all uh, of age here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm your senior, but you play much better guitar than me. I love you. I want to take lessons from you. Here you give lessons. This is something we discussed earlier in the evening with me and Jim. He's going to make my life easier. Anyway, uh, Growing up, you know, we, uh, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and and uh, once once every week or two, there'd be a truck coming by, and uh, it'd be a guy that sharpened knives. Uh, this was in the early 50s. Where did he grow up? Uh, Brownsville? Yeah. We would call it Whitesville. I don't know why. Um, and uh, and the, the doctor, the, the local doctor lived in the next building, and if you needed him, you called him up, and like within a half hour, he would grab his black satchel medical bag, and he'd be over there and fix me up, you know. And uh, I uh, mentioned that to younger people, they don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> no. Anyway, I was thinking 
back when I was a little kid. How many people here used to hide things under their pillow when you when you're a little kid, like candies and stuff like that? Come on, admit it. My, my tooth. Your tooth. That. Well, you got something for that. Besides beating. <laughs> I'm under a blanket, I'm feeling a chill in my mind. Just might have the thing called the flu. Rubbing on Vicks, she gives me a pill. My mama don't know what else she can do. She taking my tempi, it's 102. I'm making a attempt to go to the loo. As I can read in my lunch, I'm getting a hunch. My play date is going to be canceling soon. And I'm hiding under my pillow. She's making a call, she dialing the phone, she said that she can't go and leave me alone. I got a pain in my throat, a pain in my head, I'm scared I might just be winding up dead. And I'm hiding under my pillow. Well, the doctor's on his way from down the block with penicillin shots and lollipops for being such a good boy. Mom's making the bed, she lifted my head to change the case of my pillows and she reacts with a wince and asks me how long since this thing's been up to your pillow. I'm caught red-handed, the eagle has landed, copping a plea is all I can do. So lots and lots of cinnamon red hots, chocolate twists and candy dots, jungle gems and sausage slims come out from under my pillow. You've been hiding under my pillow Cause when all was asleep When all was asleep I did make a peep I settled in here for the midnight creep All the world the glow moving good and slow I am learning when I just didn't know About what's hiding under my pillow And the truth is exposed with a running nose Smit all over my underclothes I Dandy, but too much candy make a child behave like an overdose of methadrine. You know what I mean? It's hanging on to my pillow. Yeah, my daddy walks in. I was hoping, but I didn't see a grin. So I go, you remember this commercial? Why the sky blue, daddy? Why the sky blue? What a blank stares. Am I that much older than you? Come on now. Don't ask me, son, I haven't got a clue. But have another confection before the next question. What's hiding under your pillow? What's that hiding under your pillow? the British invasion. We all loved it. And uh, nobody talks about the American invasion, except we invade everybody. So I guess <laughs> we're... Uh, yeah. Anyway, I made up a story about what, ha what would happen if a uh, band came over there. And, well, that already happened. But look, anyway, this is a... On. They crossed a big pond to put the show on. They did the interviews. They made the front page news. They had a harmony you really hear or see. All oh, the pearls from the oysters from A to Z. In a map of life, they had a sea of dreams. The world was theirs, and then all gone. They came from Tucson. They had their tuxes on. Fame, award, adoration, respect. Sand, scandal, paparazzi, what did you expect? Who do these ingrates think they are? Coming here acting like a bunch of stars. This is how we do things in China. 
kiss the toes. We're gonna send them back to Tucson with their tuxes on. The DNA spelled trouble for the boys who were busy on stage just making some noise. Blood was spilled on an empty bed. Pictures were taken of a severed head. Something so wrong, rumor and accusation, public castration for it did not come. They came from Tucson, they had their tuxes on, well, they never got back to Tucson. No, they never got back to Tucson. No, they never got back to Tucson. No, to Tucson with their tuxes on. Ain't that life in rock and roll When it all takes a turn No one can control Blue suede shoes worn out to a soul Once on a roll Now a bunch of cons Now black and white stripes they don They came from Tucson They had their tuxes on They ain't never get back to Tucson Never got back to Tucson Never got back to Tucson To Tucson with their tuxes on They do breathe down They do breathe down, down They do breathe down They do breathe down, down Tucson Tucson, 